Hey everyone, Charlie here. Good morning. Oh, I am, if you can't tell, back in Japan, which is really exciting. It is um, just a little after 7 o'clock. And uh, that's mostly because I'm jet lagged. But it's really good because I got to get up and do the first, um, first prayer of the year over at the shrine right at sunrise. You can't really tell at sunrise if you look, look around, of course. Because we're just like, the whole town is bathed in fog right now. Really beautiful view there of the bridge. Not sure what the accent was I just put on, but really beautiful kind of spooky view of um, Mizochi here. Are we in Mizochi still? Yes, we are. Just on the edge of Mizochi, which is the the section of Sabai City in which I live. And um, yeah, it's first uh, first one cup of the new year, which is exciting. Oh man. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm having sort of a an awakening here on camera. I'm scaring away all these poor, all these poor fowl down here in um, down here in the water. This is Kurogawa. This is the Black uh, Black River. I don't know that it's a true river. Um, as much as it is a runoff, man-made runoff for all the precipitation that runs through. Man, they just do not like me. Um, but yeah, camera, awakening, morning. Um, it's been a weird, it's been a weird couple of days, I have to say. Been in Japan, back in Japan for, oh, I guess, I guess three days, though I'm still a little discombobulated. And been sort of numb, I guess, since I've been back, mostly just because I've been, I've been exhausted. Um, gonna make another video about what happened uh, when I got back in country and being delayed and staying at internet cafes and it's just it's was such a weird time that it requires like a video all into itself um, and it requires a little bit of like comedic flourish I think to really truly really get how I felt across so across across so that'll be out uh, either before this video comes out or um, yeah shortly tomorrow probably anyway but, yeah, so I'm back here and for the first time this morning, even though I've been up for five hours already at this point and I'm still feeling a little weird, it's just, it feels so nice to be back. Um, feels, I don't know, really appreciative to be here. And hopeful we're going forward in a new year, right? And, I don't know, already, I watched uh, Jake Naughton's video about feeling extra foreign and um, if you haven't watched it you should I'll put a little floaty Jake head here someplace so you can click on it and get it get to it easily but um, basically the idea was is that seeing all of the diversity back in England that he felt uh, coming back here it just felt extra foreign to him and he felt extra foreign because of because of that sort of reverse culture shock, I guess, is what it is, and and I mean, I noticed that too, like, it's it's definitely weird for me to be back and to not see anybody who looks like me, or anybody with features that aren't um, ethnically Japanese, right? But that said, I don't know, I feel, I feel more at home here, I feel, like I said, I feel less foreign, and I think that's to do with that's to do with uh, the people here. And um, Blue Eyed Sin White, who uh, has always been a good supporter of the show, not the show, the channel, um, has pointed this out before because she used to live, she used to live here in Fukui, is that how, how different seemingly the people here are to the people in a lot of other places in Japan. And yeah, I, if last year at this time I was bumbling around, sort of struggling to find my feet, like wondering what what I was doing here, if I'd made a mistake and all that sort of stuff, and people giving me strange looks, which they still do, those things of course, but uh, when I finally made it back to Sabae on, oh it must have been 9, 9.30 Saturday morning. Uh, and the 
I don't know, what do you call people who attend a train station? A train station attendant? Anyway, the fellow manning the ticket booth at the train station, when I got off at my station, he welcomed me home. And um, at the time, like I said, I was a little numb. I was just like, oh, okay, thanks. You know, and didn't really feel much about it, but now I feel great. I feel really, really good. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's still people giving me looks. I'm still the foreigner. I'll always be the foreigner, probably, right? But, I don't know, people from the convenience stores to the grocery store have welcomed me back, have, are wishing me New Year, you know, asking me when my classes start again. So it's not, I think a lot of people have the unfortunate experience where, you know, 100% of their interactions with, oh, let's go this way, never been down here before. 100% of their interactions with people are like the same, um, same five sentences of small talk ad nauseum, right? This is interesting, right? This is a, let's demonstrate here the differences. Here's a Leo Palace, this is the same kind of place I live in. Here's a modern house, here's an old house stacked up next to each other. That was always something I really, really kind of appreciate is that uh, juxtaposition of styles and, um, and ages, I guess, in such close proximity. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, that does happen. And it's unfortunate, but... I don't know, it's... I've said this before, it's not been my experience. And coming back and having this sort of, this welcoming, right, is, it's wonderful. And I, I feel like I've had a kind of stupid grin stuck in my face since I started this video. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. It's been, it's been good. And one of the things I was really worried about when I left was that I'm going to be effectively spending... I think I was in America for 10, 11 days, something like that, all said and done. I was afraid that I would, you know, that time apart, focus I moss, um, that time away would make it feel as though, not make it feel as though that would rob me of any fledgling speaking ability I had, right? Um, focus I moss. And, um, I don't know, my first, my first, uh, unfortunately, speaking experience back in country on Friday, whatever day it was, was with an immigration official and that was just like, a lot of that was a vocabulary. I would, I was never, I'm not even sure if I knew to begin with, but that sort of served to prove my fear. But then when I had to find a place to stay, suddenly I had to rearrange my, my plane tickets and all that stuff like that. Suddenly, I realized like, realized, like, hey, this is not, this is actually a lot less of a hassle than I remember it being, having to, what do they call it, code switching? Um, having to switch over from, I'm not sure persona is the right word, but from my English-speaking self to my Japanese-speaking self, and being able to get my point across not stuff like that. It, it just wasn't that hard, and that's not to say I'm fluent. I'm far from it, but yeah, some of the edge has been taken off. I guess I feel, I guess, being out of it was a chance to refresh. Sort of like I don't know if you guys, how many of you out there play instruments? I'm sure a lot of you play guitar, statistically, right? Or a lot of you play something. Um, I don't know. Sometimes if you step away from it for a week, or two weeks and then you go back to it, suddenly it's like your fingers are more nimble, right? Like suddenly that little break was all they needed to suddenly be able to do like crazy fast arpeggios or whatever. Travis picking like a god. I don't know, whatever your thing is, but that's how it felt and that's how it feels to speak Japanese now, I guess. Um, far, far, far from perfect as you will see on my Japanese channel, which some of you have asked for the information for that. I will start putting that down in the description below these videos, so if you want to check those out. They're not great, but they're kind of fun to do, so... I haven't been to this park in a while. 
I don't remember what the last video was I did where I actually featured this park, but I love this, I love this statue. Um, I think I said, I said the same thing then, whenever it was that I filmed this, but um, it looks like something out of Mass Effect, right? It looks like a, a statue you'd see in the Citadel or something like that. Ooh, there's a little gazebo up there. I've never been up there before. Let's go. Um, so yeah, it's great being back. It's great being home, though I cannot stress enough how wonderful it was to be back in Western New York, which is why no, almost none of the videos I planned on making were made. I just had such a good time just eating and drinking and hanging out with my family and watching Star Wars four times for whatever reason. And um, it, was, it was everything I could have hoped for in a homecoming, which made it incredibly difficult to get on the plane to come home. And I miss everyone terribly, my friends, my family, but so much... Whoa! There it is. Did you guys see that one? You guys see that one? It was covered in, uh, in, in dew of, uh, of moisture. Uh, and moisture is so gross. Um, and it's so great to see how everyone was doing. Um, how everyone has changed and how supportive everyone is. I guess, you know, it's nice to feel validated in your choices of friends that you've built up and, and to realize how great your family is, I guess. But, um, anyhow. <clears throat> That's enough, I suppose, going on about oh, how, I, how I feel, how I feel about being back and the trip home and all that stuff. Um, talk about that a little bit more on my Tumblr, which by the way you should check out, which I feel like I've devolved into just marketing my stuff. But anyway, such is, such is this beast we're part of, I guess. Let's set this down for a second. Um, so it is the new year, which, what a jerk I am. I haven't wished you guys a happy new year just yet, but happy new year, guys. Um, I hope 2015 treated you well, um, but whether it did or not, I hope this new year is only an improvement on that last year. Um, you know, let's all, let's take steps together to be our best selves, say, whatever that means for you. I'd love to hear about that. You know, down in the comments, let me know what that means for you this year to be to move towards your best self. Your better self, even. It doesn't have to be your best. But, um... I'm looking ahead. I don't know, I've... I've grown cynical of the idea of... of, uh... New Year's resolutions. Just because... I don't know why. I don't know why. But, that said... <laughs> let me name for you my New Year's resolutions. Um, they're not even New Year's resolutions, they're just, they're just going forward resolutions. They don't need to be completed in 2016, but they need to be moved towards in, in 2016, right? We need, we need constant progress, otherwise, what's the point of waking up in the morning? Um, so last year, I completed the draft for a non-fiction travelogue book which is awesome. I'm really excited about it. Uh, that should be finished by March or April of this year. Um, depending on how long the editing process takes and how long it takes to get it formatted and all that stuff. That will be out this year, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, along with awesome J-Vlogger Wikipedia um, and my partner in crime and the new-ish YouTube channel, The Burrow. I completed NaNoWriMo, and I'm just about finished with the draft for a piece of historical fiction. Well, historical fiction slash fantasy, I don't know. But anyway, that's almost done. I should have that edited, maybe published, I don't know if it's ever going to be published by, by, uh, by the summer or early fall, which is really, really awesome. And. Uh, yeah, my writing, the writing thing is going really well. And, um, I'm not taking the offer, I delayed admission, but I got into a really awesome graduate program back home stateside for journalism. We'll see what happens with that next year, but as for now, we're staying here in Japan and uh, completing our mission here, whatever that actually means. Um, 
And yeah, good times, you know? The writing thing, it's, it's a good thing. I don't know, I feel kind of high right now talking about all this. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just... Well, I am, of course, really glad to be talking to you guys and be making videos again here. But, um... Of course, that brings me to... The channel, right? What do we want to do on the channel? Well, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. My goal is to have two thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And to continue developing the channel in ways I talked about previously, and one of the more recent one coppas, I'm not going to get into it now. No sense in treading, retreading ground. Um, but yeah, want to grow the Japanese channel. What I'm really excited about with this channel um, is, I guess, we are going to retread some ground. Is um, what is this massive wall of like bush? What are you? What evil hides behind you? Um, something I just mentioned a few minutes ago, and that was that's my Tumblr. Now, as you guys may have seen previously, I was sort of uh, yeah, really unsure what I should be doing with with a blog that was associated with this channel. And look at, okay, look at you people. Everybody is like always on me about the spider webs in my face. Do you see how thick that is? Do you see how thick that is? Do you want that in your eyeball? Probably not. So the tumbler. I was really like I said, uncertain what the hell I needed to do with a Tumblr to make it worth reading. Um, well, also not taking away from my from my other like my other writing project, Words from the Road. Um, and I think I think it's sort of like how should I explain? It's like Twitter but expanded. Um it's miscellany, and but mostly, and this is the fun part. It's it's uh, it's supplementary stuff, right? So one of the things I want to move away from, except of course in these one couple videos, is long videos. These I don't care if one cup of moves up to 40 minutes or an hour, because I know like a lot of you guys listen to them when you're on your way to work. You listen to them as background noise. So I mean, I think that's a good length for this type of, uh, you know, long form can be a good thing. But, for the rest of my videos, I really want to keep them, tighten them up to just about six minutes. Look at this. I know, I know, to many of you, this will seem very bleak, but this is like a nice, a really spooky beauty to it, doesn't it? These rice fields that have, I mean, effectively, they're just, uh, they're just filled with muck and fallow at the moment. But, um, have their own kind of beauty, especially with the fog hanging over them. Um, so yeah. Hello, gozaimasu. Lots of people on their way to take their their garbage to uh, it's Monday, and I guess here I think this is Shinmei. Um, I guess here Monday is the garbage pickup day, so tons of people out taking it there. Over here. I can't really show you very well, mostly because the fog, mostly because I'm in a really stupid area to show you. No one ever said I was the smartest J vlogger around. Is this thing on? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> um, this is not Shinmei. The first kanji there I can't actually read because I'm a dope. So anyway, we'll just call it not Shinmei for now. Um, so the Tumblr. And I get distracted so easily. No wonder I drove my parents mad as a child. But, um, yeah, so, I want to tighten up the normal videos, right? Like, today I'm going to be making a video about the internet cafe experience, two videos actually. Um, and ordinarily I would be, oh, was I Moss? Um, and normally I'd be happy with eight minute videos, probably. But I don't know, who wants to listen to me ramble for? eight minutes on, when, when they're focused on tight subjects like that, they should be about five minutes, right, I think. Um, but what the Tumblr allows me to do is to 
include some of those details I probably cut out for the sake of time that I still find really interesting or really crazy things because that's the type of person I am that I find really weird things funny that maybe I don't think will fly very well in video form so anyway that's what I'm really excited about the tumbler for I've used it a little bit over the Christmas break and a little bit when I was uh, going slowly insane from sleep deprivation yeah wow look at how strangely beautiful this is I'm not gonna show you over there because there's a school although maybe you can see it because of the wide view of this fish-eyed lens but it's just so strangely beautiful here, isn't it? Here's the baseball park. It's just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so Tumblr allows me to, as do these videos, indulge some of those uh, crazier sort of winding thoughts. You know, that welcome that I said I felt might go quickly out the window if I'm just walking around being a weirdo with this camera, but c'est la vie. Oh man, so nice to be back, so so nice, I can just barely, I don't know if this camera can capture it, but just barely through the fog there, you can see the sun, just like the top, I don't know, upper left, ninth, that's a weird fraction, uh, but anyway of the sun coming up over the mountains there in the east, of course. It's hard not to feel thankful in mor mornings like this, you know? And now that sort of gleeful insanity is being fueled on by caffeine, so that's always good. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Sweet Mary and Joseph. <laughs> oh, blue heron. Fly away, little friend. But yeah, so, oh, this is a much better view through baseball netting, sadly. Uh oh, biker's coming up on me. Old lady, maybe with chains, gonna take me down, Kira style. <laughs> but, um, so. Now, something to discuss. I have, in the past, as you, many of you well know, tried a podcast. Alright, she did not beat me with chains. False alarm. I tried a podcast um, called Octaku, which I enjoyed doing for a little while, but um, turning into a podcast didn't turn out to be that successful because the audio sucked. But the audio on these. I think is probably a little bit better if sometimes I'm scared by cars going by and stuff like that just because we're outside so we don't have to worry about the acoustics bouncing around as much. Where am I even going? I don't want to go towards the school. Bad idea. Um, so like I said, I know some of you listen to these in your car, so I think I'm going to um, maybe starting from this video or the next one strip out the audio and turn these into um, podcasts. If anybody's interested in that, let me know down in the comments below. Definitely do that. And on that note, um, I am going to be getting a new... Get out of the way before I'm killed by this soccer mom. Um, a new microphone very, very soon, along with a new camera. And I think I'm going to start doing a podcast again. Um, probably focusing, excuse me, on basically what, it'll be Octaku again, probably. But there will not be a video component of Octaku. It'll be purely, can I get across here without dying? He runs, he runs, he runs, he runs, he runs. Yes, death averted. Um, yeah, it'll just be like talking about video game news, um, you know, mer nerd miscellaneous but with good audio, um, and we'll see where it goes from there, but yeah, I'm feeling, of course it is the beginning of the year and I'm feeling very, very ambitious to do all these things, but 
the same time I'm also, you know, like I talked about, trying to get two books published. Um, the Tumblr, improving my Japanese to, I really, that's, that's, that's my biggest focus this year. I, I really, I really want to be conversationally fluent in all forms of conversation. All forms of conversation, what does that even mean? Diplomatic talks, so I can make peace between Japan and Korea, I don't know. But, yeah, so I, I'm likely overloading myself as I always do, but I feel good, man. 2015 was a year of finding my feet and um, sometimes stubbing my... Okay, all right. I think they'd never seen a fat white guy before these ducks, but um, <laughs> but yeah, and uh, yeah, it was a, it was it was a year of trying to find my feet and sometimes stepping on sharp objects and howling in pain. All of this metaphorical, of course. Um, in 2016, I want to be the year where I capitalize on those growing pains. On those connections that I that I made, sometimes forcibly, um, and yeah, it's going to be a good one. No doubt, with its ups and downs, as as is any stretch of time. All right, enough ducks. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I love all these farms along this path. That's why I come down here a lot when I'm running. Um, but yeah, let's finish this up. Various old ladies with binoculars, probably someplace. Right, guys. Thanks always for watching. Thank you for an amazing 2015 for supporting the channel, for all your comments, um, including a couple of haters who have joined the channel. I'm glad to have you. Not even haters, just guys who disagree with me. Um, glad to have all of you around so we can talk and connect and. You know, all that good stuff. Have a wonderful start to your new year, guys. All right. Ducks. <laughs> yeah, have a wonderful start to your new year. Um, like I said, I hope it's only an improvement on the last, and uh, let's see what we can do together. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers.